Hey everyone, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we'll be playing around with toast notification inside our Xamarin Forms application. So it would be supporting both Android, iOS and Windows too. So as of now, I'll be just demonstrating this Android and iOS project. So why not to see how our uh, toast notifications work. So I have created one button. As soon as I click on this button, then I will just get uh, my you know, notification and then we can click this notification too to get our ID as well as title and description too. So uh, that is uh, supported both on Android, iOS and Windows. So in order to get uh, this type of notification, uh, we need to install the plugin that is toast.forms.plugin. So you need to just select the whole solution up click on manage nuget package and then add toasts.forms dot plugin so you can just go to this project page and then uh, can see how to integrate on all the uh, uh, application that is android ios as well as windows so the basically uh, if you follow up uh, with my tutorial then you just need to go and uh, start uh, integrating on all the project shared android ios as well as windows project then uh, the main thing that you have to uh, understand is uh, we have to first of all configure our android and ios project and in order to configure it in ios here you can see i have added uh, toast notification dot init as well as the dependency service toast notification so dependency service just comes from our uh, uh, to plugin dot toast and then uh, you just need to uh, integrate this line of code in order to get our app ios application running with the toast notification so you can just uh, configure uh, your badge as well as alert sounds too from here and uh, whatever you like now let's go to the android configuration part so here on the android side inside the main activity uh, you just need to integrate this line of code that is uh, dependent service dot register toast notification and toast notification dot init this method and then that comes from plugin dot toast as soon as you install those uh, plugins to your shared android and ios project and uh, if you are integrating it on windows then you just need to follow up with this sample so here we have a sample uh, where uh, we have uh, we can just see the UWP application where you want uh, how to integrate it and uh, same goes for Windows RT2 so just uh, go around with it play around with it and uh, let me know if um, everything works fine or not so here uh, I have already in integrated on Android and iOS now it's time to uh, first of all go to our main page and this is just a sample page and you know that our application starts from main page right so let's go to the main page then here I've just created a button then as soon as this button is clicked uh, then uh, we have uh, this event that is going to be triggered so here this line of code is going to tell us what what is the next thing that uh, we'll be doing as soon as uh, uh, the notification is generated so basically uh, here the option allows us to uh, make our notification so we can just add a title uh, to whatever we like and as well, along with that uh, the description too and um, we, we can make it as a false uh, for like uh, if we don't want anybody to click on that and then uh, or get automatically displayed then uh, we can just make it that thing also and along with that uh, we can force open our uh, uh, what it is called Android uh, Android app uh, as soon as those notifications are, are clicked so uh, on iOS it will work fine anyway and uh, uh, here this line of code is going to create that notification up so don't forget to add this dependent service because it is going to defer uh, like um, uh, both Android and iOS project whenever the application is running on its platform so that it can generate uh, those notifications then our next work is to uh, as soon as this uh, button is clicked then uh, what happens so we are going to grab id out of it along with that we can just uh, grab the title as well as description to here and that's all now let's again run the project in order to conclude this uh, final demo 
so as soon as i click on notify then this notification gets generated and then as soon as i click on it then that event was uh, going to be triggered but for this uh, notification icon uh, you just need to go to uh, to a notification.ios project and then inside a set dot assets uh, here we have app icons you can you just need to change this app icons uh, to get that image up uh, that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials